Hi friends, welcome back. This is DN Ready again. Uh, in the previous session, we have seen what are the different data types available in Swift. In this session, we are going to see what are the different operators we have to perform operations. The definition operator is a symbol which performs operations on operands. Here, if you see, here we are performing addition. Here, this is a symbol. These two are values. Values are also called as operands here in case of performing operation. Here, 5 minus 5. Minus is the symbol which is operator. 5 and 5 are operands here. Here, division operator and 1000 by 1000 and 100 are operands. Similarly, we see how to perform operations. Basically, operators are classified into three different categories. One is unary operator and binary operator and ternary operator. Unary operator, an operator which performs operations on single operand. Binary operator which performs operations on two operands. Ternary operator, an operator which performs operations on three operators. Let's see here, unary operators. There are three different types of unary operators. One is unary minus and not and address of. These are the three different operators which comes under unary operator. Whereas binary operator, all arithmetic operators, comparison operators, assignment and compound operators, logical operators. All these three, uh, all these four types of operators comes under binary operator. Whereas ternary operator, which performs operations on three operands, there is only one ternary operator that is the conditional operator. Let's see one by one here. I want to save temperature. Temperature will be either positive or negative. In this case, temperature is five minus five. Here minus is performing some operation on operand five and converting the operand to negative value. Okay, this is only one operand. We see the not and address of operator in some time. We see the arithmetic operators which comes under binary operator. I am having two values here, A and B. A is equal to five and B is equal to two. And I have declared one more variable called a result, which is zero at present. I am performing operation here A on A and B, which is addition. The result I am saving here and printing the value. Let me run the playground. Here, the result is uh, 5 plus 2, which is going to be 7. We see the result here. And uh, 5 minus 2, which is 3 here. 5 into 3, which is 15, 5 into 2, which is 10 here. 5 by 2, which is 2 here. 5 percentile to our modulus operator. Percentile to the remainder, which gives here. Here, it gives you the quotient. That is the difference between division operator and modulus operator. This is very, very important. Okay, this is required when you are performing or when you are asked to perform some kind of algorithm questions or reversing the string or reversing the number, you might encounter this kind of operators. Here, I'm giving you an example here, 5 by 2 gives you 2, 5 percentile 2 gives you 1. Here, if you apply percentile which gives you the coefficient if you apply the uh, apply the percentile here if you apply the division operator here if you apply the percentile you will get the remainder okay that is the difference here and uh, next binary operators are assignment and compound operators which is uh, a plus equal to b a minus equal to b here if you see there is assignment operator along with uh, there is some regular operator automatic operator actually here Okay, this is combination of two operands, so which is called assignment, which is equal to and compound two operators. So it is compound here. This is equivalent to a equal to a plus b. In this case, we get a equal to five plus two, which the result here is seven. Here, a equal to a minus b, which is 
at present a is 7 7 minus 2 which you get here is 5 a star equal to b which is equivalent to a equal to a star b now a is 5 here 5 into 2 which is 10 here again a equal to a by b which is uh, a is 10 here and uh, 10 by 2 which is 5 A percentile B, which is 5 here, 5 percentile 2, which is the remainder, what we get is 1. This is a assignment operator, assignment on compound operators and uh, conditional statements. Before that, uh, let me show you the conditional operator. Here, I'm having uh, a variable called marks. I declared a variable called marks here somewhere. Here. This is the condition I'm questioning here. If it is true, take that true statement, else false statement. Here I have two operators actually, see here, two expressions. Ternary operator is pass is the variable which holds the result. If marks equal to equal to 100, consider this, otherwise consider this. In this case, basically this is called shorthand of if condition. I'll show you that as well. And uh, if you want to have multiple conditions, if it is true, take this block, this statement. Otherwise, uh, there is one more conditional statement. This is also required and important. In actually, in real times, we use the conditional statement. Okay. Sometimes single conditional statement or sometimes multiple conditional statements. Now, to perform the logical operators, we need to see comparison operator and logical operator. We need to know. We need to know the if statements and conditional statements. Conditional statement. Uh, there are three types of conditional statements: if, if else, and if else ladder. Let's see. Let's say I have declared uh, one variable here, which is a. Yes, the value is thirty-five. I'm comparing here if uh, a equal to equal to thirty-five then the block of code will be executed. Basically, when do we use the conditional statement is basically the program runs from line number one to line number 134, one, two, three, four, and so on, 134. But uh, I want to execute some lines of code. Let's say here, I want to execute line number 71 based on some condition. Only if the condition is true, then only execute line number 71. In this case, we're having only one line, but in general, in real time, you will be having one or hundred also. Okay. This is here we are putting some condition. If a equal to a is equal to equal to 35, then only execute this. Okay, I'll execute all of them and show you. If a is not equal to 40, then execute this. If a is less than 40, execute this. If a is greater than 30, execute this. If A is greater than or equal to here, only greater than here, greater than or equal to, then execute this. If A is less than or equal to 35, then execute this. This is how you we use comparison statement. Comparison operator in if conditions. And uh, here I'm having a marks here. Here also same comparison operator. If marks double equal to 100, then execute this Mr. Perfect. If uh, marks greater than or equal to 35 is passed, otherwise failed. I want to show whether the given marks or uh, pass marks are failed marks. If uh, marks are greater than 35, greater than or equal to 35, he is passed, otherwise uh, failed. Here, I'm having multiple conditions here. This is if condition, if you're having only one block of a code to be executed based on the condition, that is if condition. Here, if else, if true execute this block of code otherwise else block of code here i'm having multiple if else conditions here if uh, marks equal to equal 100 execute this otherwise check the next condition if the condition is true it won't check the next condition if the condition is false then only it checks for the next condition what is the next condition here else if marks greater than or equal to 70 if marks are greater than 70 
first class if marks are greater than or equal to 60 second class if marks are greater than 35 passed otherwise failed this is how we use comparison operators okay here one thing to remember in if condition the expression expression should be evaluated to boolean in other languages if you put one also this block of code will be true but here it won't be accepted the expression here must be of type boolean only true or false it should be there if you give true it works but not one in object you see true one yes all are true only okay but not here and uh, logical operators logical operators yeah i'm having here marks equal to equal 100 this is the only one condition which is which i'm using conditional operator mr perfect if marks are marks are greater than 70 and uh, marks are less than 100 means 70 to 95 first class here i'm putting double and double and means uh, this condition should be true also this condition also should be true this is called logical and logical operators will having three operators logical and logical r and logical not here if marks less than or equal to 7 and greater than or equal to 60 and the marks are greater than 70 it does mean that uh, 60 to 69 is second class okay logical and we can also have one more condition if marks greater than or equal to 35 or marks less than or equal to 100 the other one case which is true fast marks are greater than 35 greater than or equal to 35 100 less than or equal to 100 means 35 to 100 any value between 35 to 100 which is passed in this case if one condition is true it won't actually evaluate the second condition because uh, here r says that uh, either one either this condition or this condition either one of them are true but true block will be executed else uh, no matches Simply, I'm just putting on ternary operator. We have seen these are the various operations we're having. Logical not we haven't seen, right? Let me see here if 10 equal to equal to 10. This is true actually. If you want to make this condition as false, then you need to put to exclamation so that this will be false. Let me take two values here. Let me, we are having A and B, right? a equal to equal to b then both are same values else both are not same this is how it works okay let me close and reopen so that we can see the results Not sure what happened. Let me quit it. These are the various operators operators we have, and we also seen conditional. You can see here temperature is five, five, a equal to five, b equal to two and the result equal to 0, 5 plus 2, 7, then 5 minus 2, 3, 5 into 2, 10, 5 by 2, 2, 2 times it is divisible, and 5 percentile 2, which is one remainder. I have also shown you 
how it works and uh, a plus r equal to b here which is a equal to a plus b which is 7 then 5 we have discussed 10 then 5 then 1 same upper, uh, same values actually we get here but what happens here is the result will be again ascend back to the a only whatever value we have at left hand side here a is equal to 35 if a is 35 equal to 35 which is true so it is printed a is not equal to 40 which is correct actually 35 not equal to 40 so which is printed a is not 35 not 40 actually not 40 a is less than or equal less than 40 then it should be printed a is less than 40 only a is 35 a is less than 40 only is uh, greater than 30, 30. Yes, a is greater than 30. Is greater than or equal to 35. Yes, a is equal to 35. Greater than or equal to 35. That which is true. That is printed. A is less than or equal to 35, which is true. Equal to is the right. So 35 equal to 35. Marks equal to 100. Here, if marks is 100, Mr. Perfect. If marks are greater than or equal to 35, passed. Actually, marks marks are 100. And if marks equal to 100, Mr. Perfect is printed. Let me change the value. Where is marks? Let me put to 24. See what happens. Which is displayed failed here. And here also failed. 34, 24. Okay. Logical operators here. The 24, 24 is, which is printed. Uh, 24 is greater than 35 which is false uh, here marks less than or equal to 100 24 is less than 100 so it is printed passed actually this is the actual condition we need to put just to show you i have just put r r means either one which this is true actually this is false so it considered the entire statement as true and false is printed here 24 marks equal to 100 it's 24 not equal to 100 so this is not printed and again checking for the one more conditional here 24 less than uh, greater than 35 which is false so fail that is printed here a equal to equal to b both are same values actually a equal to 5 b equal to 2 right these two are actually not equal when you put to negation or not it became the false statement false expression result became true so which is true printed this is how we use operators variety of operators we use a uh, few of them but for interview purpose it is very important if you like uh, the video and if you have learned uh, something from this video please like and subscribe okay if you want this kind of this playground file please uh, message uh, in the comment section please mention your email id so that i can share you that okay stay tuned you will get uh, more of this kind of videos thank you so much